Welcome to my lecture online. Sometimes finding the common factor can be done yet in another way. So we call it another other method. So what we could do is first factor out the smallest numerical factor that we can. And so in this case, since all the numerical factor, all the numerical coefficients here are even, we can start with factoring out the number two. So this can then be written as two times 12 x cubed plus nine x squared plus 6x. And then if we take a look at this, then we notice there's another common factor in here, which would be the number 3. We can no longer pull out a 2 because these two are even, that one is odd, but all of these numerical coefficients are divisible by 3, so we can factor out another 3. So 3 times 2 is 6, so this can be written as 6 times, and we pull out another 3, we now end up at 4x cubed, plus 3x squared plus 2x and finally we can see that from the variables we can pull out an x on all the three terms so this can be written as 6x times 4x squared plus 3x to the first power plus 2. So very systematically we can get to the final result where we can see that even though all these are common factors the largest common factor in this case would be 6x. We can do the same over here Notice we can start out by pulling out a 10 everywhere, so this can be written as 10 times 3x squared plus 15x squared plus 27x. And then you realize, well, they're still divisible by 3, I can pull out another 3, so 3 times 10 is 30, so this can be written as 30 times x squared plus 3 goes into 15, 5x squared plus 3 goes into 27, 9x. And then you can say, well, I can still pull out a common x on all three terms, so this could be 30 times x times x plus 5x plus 9. And of course, we could then combine the like terms and say 30x times 6x plus 9. Now when I do that, realize, well, wait a minute, I can pull out another common factor, because now the common factor is 3. So 3 times, nine, <coughs> uh, 3 times 30 is 90, so this can be written as 90x times 2x plus 3. So we take it one more step further, realizing when I combine like terms, there's another common factor I can pull out. So you can see that systematic approach where you take one number or one variable at a time, then you simplify it, you can then realize there's another common factor you can pull out, and that would then be the final answer. And that is how it's done.